What if Galaxy S25 Ultra's best feature becomes its biggest weakness? It's time to have an early powerful look at the Galaxy S25 Ultra's heart that is the Snapdragon 8 Elite's performance. There's no power on this earth that can stop smartphones from becoming a proper gaming handheld console. Galaxy S25 Ultra's GPU is actually a lot more powerful than initially expected. Its performance is now challenging the GPU inside Rogue Ally, which is a gaming handheld console and it's even shown to run RDR1 a proper console game at a whopping 160 frames per second. This video was posted by a Chinese blogger we don't know about the graphic settings or the screen resolution but it's still bonkers that this GPU can actually do proper console gaming. What's really exciting is that Snapdragon 8 Elite has Linux support meaning it can actually run PC console games through emulation. We've already seen how you can play Assassin's Creed using this GPU without that being said, apart from the emulation, we need proper AAA games built for this GPU. And if there's one company that can make this happen and collab with some of the biggest game studios out there, is Samsung. But what if all this power comes at a cost? And that is the cost of the heat. The first commercially produced Snapdragon 8 Elite phone, which is the Realme GT7 Pro, was tested recently and it had some serious overheating issues when running the 3D Mark application. But in other people's tests, there was no issues with the 3D Mark on this phone. It didn't even have any overheating issues when compared to the Apple 18 Pro while absolutely demolishing the iPhone 16 Pro Max in the process. So it's likely just a faulty unit slash optimization issue, not a permanent problem with Snapdragon 8 Elite. With that being said, Samsung should bring their absolute A game when it comes to thermal efficiency in order to unlock the best performance of this chip. Once again, we're likely going to see Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy, which could be a slightly overclocked version exclusive for the Galaxy S25 lineup. Also, Galaxy S25 series is currently being tested with One UI 7.0 software version internally instead of One UI 7.1. As you know, Samsung has delayed the One UI 7.0 for quite some time, and it seems like we may not get the first beta at all during this year, with the final version and reveal might be coming with the Galaxy S25 series. Now, Last but not the least, Samsung has indirectly confirmed that they're about to release their XR devices in 2025. In case you don't know, Samsung has been working on building their XR products for quite some time, about two years now. And next year is the time when Samsung is deciding to finally release their XR products. These devices will use a new special version of Android optimized for XR devices and utilize Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 Plus Gen 2 chip. Samsung's earnings slide also confirms the S25 series officially. This is the first ever official mention from Samsung confirming something we already know, which is of course the S25 series coming with a more elevated AI experience and premium design. So there we go. That's all for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Things are heating up, but in a good way. Of course, Samsung has to make sure that they do the best cooling setup for the S25 series in order to unlock the best performance. I hope they also bring AAA gaming to these phones in the future. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.